Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and welcome. So today is gonna be another vlog style, day in the life type video. Uh, I did my first day in the life video about, what, three weeks ago, I think? Um, so I'm gonna do another one today because I thought it was really fun. It was just a good change up from doing recipe videos and sit down videos all the time. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take you along today. Today's a big day for me and Darrell because we are finally uh, finalizing our contract on our new house. Uh, we decided to build a house from ground up so we get to pick out all the design finishes floorings cabinets all of that good stuff so I'm very excited about this um, and it's gonna take about five months to build so let me know if y'all want me to document the building process like you know take you guys with me to the design center to pick out the design finishes I think that would be pretty cool you guys can give your input on which floors you like best and stuff like that so let me know in the comment section anyway so today yeah I figured I'd let you tag along I'll show you what I eat in a day on a weekend Saturdays are really kind of my splurge day so keep that in mind during the week I am very strict with my eating style but but anyway, so tag along with me. We're gonna get this day started. First, I'm gonna go make my smoothie. I'm gonna make a protein smoothie. It's about 11.30, so this is my first meal of the day. Uh, if you're not familiar, I do intermittent fasting, so I try to eat my first meal uh, sort of late in the morning, around 11 or 11.30, so we're gonna go make that right now. Oh, and before we get this day started, I wanted to show y'all how cute this little outfit is. First of all, I found this straw hat on Amazon, and it's such good quality, and it was only $15.99. Like, I cannot believe how cheap this hat was. And of course, yep, get a good look. <laughs> and then I found this cute little romper on Shine website. So it has a little tie feature here, a little cutout on the stomach, and it's like, you know, flowy material. And it's not see through, which, you know, that's a big deal, especially when the sun's out. But yeah, I love it, and this one was under 25, I think, so I'll leave all of these items linked for y'all below. Of course, I showed y'all in my last video for my day in the life, I have my Steve Maddens. I love these because the wedge isn't too high, and disregard my toenails because I haven't painted them yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just wanted to show y'all my little outfit for today. I'll leave all the items linked for y'all below. Okay, let's go make my morning smoothie. Okay, y'all, so we are at the model house for our builder. Now, this model house is not the floor plan that we're getting, but I'm gonna show you around anyway, so you show you some B-roll of this model house so you can get an idea of their designs. Uh, but yeah, we're going in to sign the contract. We're gonna talk about some upgrade options, so I'm just gonna take you along with me, and let's get this thing started. design appointment uh, lasted way longer than I thought. It lasted for almost four hours. We had to drive around and look at the lots that we wanted to build on. We had to go over all of the, or just like get estimates on some of the upgrades that I wanted to go with. And y'all know that took me forever because I've got to try to customize this house. Um, 
but yeah so really that all took us about four hours and poor Darrell he was like so ready to go <laughs> anyway it was a lot of fun for me I had a I think Darrell had a good time did you have a good time I did yep so anyway um yeah so we just really walked through our lights, how we're gonna do the exterior brick, the front door, the kitchen cabinets and floors. Now, of course, we're still gonna go to the design center and actually see everything in real life. Uh, they have a showroom, so I'll actually get to see the cabinets in the actual kitchen. So I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna take y'all along with me for that. But anyway, so now, honestly, we haven't eaten anything pretty much all afternoon. Uh, so we're starving right now and we're gonna go grab a bite to eat. I'm not sure exactly where we're going yet, but um, just stick along for the ride and I'll show you what we get for dinner. So we have signed the contract on the house to start building and the last clip that you saw was about a week ago but I wanted to sort of put all this together in one vlog because today we are going to the design center so today is really just about looking around browsing all of our options um, our official appointment to you know uh, set everything in stone with our upgrades is gonna be in about two weeks but today we're gonna get to browse we're gonna get to choose what we want so I'm gonna take you along for the ride uh, we're gonna pick out cabinets and countertops, flooring, you know, bathtubs, the whole nine yards. And so I wanted to give you guys like an idea of the color palette and the look that we're going for because I want y'all to comment below, uh, you know, which items you like the best between certain cabinets and floors and stuff. Uh, so we're going with sort of a light and bright, you know, feel because that comes across really well in uh, recipe videos. Uh, also something a little bit more contemporary, slightly modern, but I do like, to, you know, to add a little bit of an industrial farmhouse feel to too. So yeah, if you can sort of figure out something in between all those looks, help me out. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to head that way in just a little bit. I'm going to take you along for the ride, but first I got to make my lunch. Uh, I am going to take my lunch with me to, to go so I don't have to eat at a fast food joint. So we're going to go make that now, but first let me show you my outfit. I found this adorable romper on shine.com. It's like this really pretty pink color. Um, you cannot see through it, so y'all know that's very important in the summertime when it's sunny outside. But I love it. It's just so cute. It fits very well. It's very comfortable, and it was on, it was like less than $25, I think. Got my Steve Madden wedges on. We're going to do a lot of walking today, so these are really comfortable. As always, I'll link all of my outfit details for y'all in the description box below. All right, let's go make some lunch. So today is a low-carb day, and I've already had my morning smoothie. It was a low-carb smoothie. I'll try to post the recipe for y'all. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to have this almond flour, these almond flour wraps from Siete, which is, I'm like addicted to these. They're so freaking good. So I'm going to do that with some leftover grass-fed ground beef, maybe a little bit of organic salsa, and just kind of keep it simple because we're in a hurry. And I'll probably throw some almonds in on the side. So let's make that now. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Okay, y'all, I'm also going to make me a cup of coffee to go because today's going to be a pretty long day. And by the way, I wanted to show y'all this Keurig that we got a few months ago. I am obsessed with it. I love it. It has a little milk frother right here. And sometimes if I have time, I'll do some frothed almond milk or coconut milk. Y'all, it is so good. Anyway, so I wanted to show you this. Um, now, I normally use the Bulletproof Coffee Pods. Let's see, if, can you focus? Yeah, I normally use the Bulletproof Coffee Pods um, for my coffee, but I just ordered some and they're taking a little longer than expected to come in. So I got these Newman's Own Organic. And I just wanted to mention that it's important to get organic coffee because coffee is one of the highest sprayed crops in America. So it's coated with pesticides. Um, and that can, you know, be hormone disrupting and all sorts of things. Some, some are even linked to cancer. But anyway, so get organic if you can. Today, I'm going to do, ah, 
I tried to be sly, y'all. <laughs> Today, I'm going to do the Newman's Own Organic. And let's do this. So this first one is a lighter tone. It's like a wood look. Or we have this medium tone, but I don't know if it's a little bit too busy with the pattern. Let me back up a little bit. Make sure the lighting is good and yeah. There you go. Do y'all like any of those? Or you even have like a darker. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. So we are looking at countertops for the kitchen. I like both of these. Now the reason I'm showing you similar ones is because this one is a little bit cheaper right here. And this one is a level up, which to be honest, this is my favorite, but tell me which ones y'all like. So I think I'm gonna go with like a shaker cabinet like this, and then I'm gonna put my own hardware on there, some custom hardware after the fact. Should I go with white? I think I'm going to go with white, but then I was looking at this gray, and I think it's really pretty, but I think I'm going to stick with white, and then the marble quartz countertop. Let me know what y'all think. So, if I go with the white shaker cabinets in the kitchen with a marble-looking quartz, like I said, I want to keep everything light, bright, fresh, but I do want a little bit of a marble look. So, what do y'all think about this? But I would do it vertical instead of horizontal. I'm looking at that. Let's see what else. There's also a similar design right here. I've got this. I even sort of like this this design too. Of course, you got the little baby subway tile. Comment below and let me know what y'all think because this is going to be so hard to pick out <laughs> a bag splash. There's so many to choose from. Now another option, of course, is you can take like a subway tile, like this one right here, but smaller, and do the herringbone pattern. Problem is, I don't see one that's small enough. So they have one that's about this size. But I don't really care for the way that marble print looks. I don't know, what do y'all think? Can you see it? I was really wanting a subway tile about that size right there, but that marble print, not raised or anything. But anyway, let me know what y'all think. Okay guys, what do you think about this for the master bathroom floor? It's a shiny marble tile. So you know how I said I was gonna do the shiny marble tile for the bathroom floor in the master? What do you think about doing like a gray cabinet, gray shaker cabinet, and then this quartz countertop. So the gray cabinet will sort of offset the white and make a little bit of a contrast. Comment below and let me know what you think. So we just left the design center. We were in there for about an hour and a half and the time flew by. So today was just more of like a walk through just to get familiar with um, you know, all the finishes and upgrades that you can do. So um, yeah, I'm kind of overwhelmed. I showed you guys a few of the different countertops, floors, cabinets and things like that that I'm looking at. So let me know in the comment section below what do y'all think would be the best finishes for us to pick. Uh, keep in mind we're going for that light 
bright, fresh look. Uh, but anyway, so right now we are about to go to this little cafe that I've been wanting to try out just to get up like a little matcha latte or something like that. So let's go. finished eating at Cafe Poetes. It was really good, kind of expensive, but you know, if you want to indulge in like a little gourmet French meal, then definitely go there because everything is made from scratch, supposedly. So the roasted uh, olives were super delicious. Darrell enjoyed his, what'd you get? Samosas. Samosas. Um, we, I had the matcha latte, which was like the best matcha latte I've ever had. Uh, yeah, so it was really good. Now, we're just going to sort of end our day. We're going to Herman Park. We're just going to sort of enjoy the outdoors right now. But I wanted to go ahead and end the vlog here. Don't forget to comment below, you know, which countertops, which floors you like best, so that you can sort of help me out with my decisions because I'm so indecisive. Anyway, um, yeah, so our appointment to finalize all of our design upgrades is in two weeks. So comment below, help me out. But anyway, that's it for today's vlog. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby.